Yo guys, what is up? It's Teach here coming at you again with another video over on Pal World. And I wanted to show you a really hopeful, helpful one for you, that, or I guess for all of you that are starting off or starting a new campaign or whatever you want to call it. These are the five best early game base spots that you can have in Pal World. I'm going to go ahead and show you that real quick and I'm going to explain why and kind of what to look for. So basically these are your spawn points on the exterior side of the island. So just be aware of that, right? So when you spawn on the outside of the island, there's going to be a two star thing. There's going to be a five star as the highest and zero stars for both resources and the I guess, density of pals nearby. So the best overall island that you can start on and you automatically start here on Zolo player is the plateau of beginnings. Now that plateau, it's not really even close. This is the best place that you can spawn in anything. And I'm going to go ahead and show you real quick some of the best locations that you can have. Now, if you don't mind, go ahead and smack that like button, leave a comment below for the algorithm, and then consider subbing to the channel for some more helpful content. So right off the bat, you can see this is a base location that is very popular because it almost encircles. You can see the uh, late game circle that gets created. It encircles is right where you start, and it's got a nice flat zone where you can build a ton of stuff. You can see that right now this is a great location and the coordinates it's literally right where you start it's like it's probably number five on my list in all honesty because you can use this area up here and then you can also use this flat zone down here which is a very very awesome location but in combination these are kind of like my number five locations because right beneath it it's got a awesome flat zone with a lot of workable space the only negative of this location is that right off this edge obviously sometimes if your pals are going to drop off the little ledge right here we have a big problem so you have to build your base a little bit closer to this wasting just a touch of space for early game but still early game it's got access to every resource that you need quickly and then it's also got access to some of the high level tames early like denosums and some of the other easy um kind of easier to tame mid mid series teams so that's my favorite location for the kind of like the fifth best over i guess there's gonna be more than five locations but you know there's going to be an, uh, we'll, we'll get it through it. So my next favorite one is one where almost I always build and it's right down the hill from this. I don't really count them as the same because this one is so unique. The reason that I love this spot right here is due to the fact that you have early game Palladium right off the bat that continuously respawns on this water zone. You've got access to a flat spot over there and a flat spot over here. Now, the awesome part about this one is when it comes to raiding early on, the raiders only take two routes. They take this route right here and they have to go across the bridge. So you can literally just build like a small defensive area right here for you. And they, the raiders won't be able to come after you. It's really nice. Not only that, but you've got early access to ore, trees and stone all over within the reaches of your base. So just getting a couple of tames that automatically gather that, whether you build on this side of the river or this side over here, you're going to have a ton of early game resources, which is a really big power spike for those of you that don't want to have to continue to smack things. Let the creatures do it for you. Now, the only kind of scary thing is sometimes, keyword sometimes, the mamma rest that is here will actually come after you uh, because your uh, tames accidentally go after it. But it's not terrible. It's very easy to deal with. So not too bad. Now, those are kind of the big ones on this island. Now, the next one that I want you to focus on is actually right over here, um, and you can build here. It, uh, I don't think you can technically build here on official servers, but uh, it's probably one of my favorite spots due to the fact that it's a massive flat area. It's also kind of central to a whole bunch of things. The only negative about the spot that we're heading towards right now is the fact that it's kind of a resource not helpful. I don't know a better way to say that, right? Uh, but there's not any resources nearby that are super useful. You've kind of got to go just a touch in order to actually get them. So your tames aren't going to actually um, automatically gather things. But this is a huge flat zone. You can see that it's completely safe. Um, massive flat zone. You can go back to the five star zone right over there. You've got a early game teleportation spot right over this little hill. You can kind of see it right there. And then you've got access to a lot of resources in this direction over here and you can see there's egg spawns in this cow this little area over here but there's a i think it's a large yeah it's a large um but if you run down this you'll actually get a ton of resources when it comes to ore palladium and uh pretty much everything that you could need in all honesty it's it's super useful it really is it's a it's an awesome little base location with a massive area that you can kind of just go to um that can be quite quite useful and you can see that we've got someone built over up on top of that ledge as well 
Um, but this is a, I mean, the big flat areas is what you want because late game, that is a very, very useful thing. And uh, yeah, and again, like there's just stuff all over the place. Like you can find lift monks. It, it's very central to everything. And on the map itself, you can see the cords of 136, 446. So those are kind of like the best ones in this region right here. Now, I'm going to teleport to the next side because the other one that you want to watch out for is these two islands are some of the actual best base spots in the entire game, both early and late game, because of the fact that they have huge flat zones and they have tons of access to resources. Now, it can be kind of hard to start over here, level one, level two. But the only reason that it's kind of hard to start over there, because it's a little bit difficult to get access to ore, you only get it in like small chunks instead of like large uh, areas. I'll go ahead and show you where I have myself based up, and it's at this location right here. And you can spawn on this island. It's just a little less densely populated. But the fact is that it's really a great spot to start out. Now, I'm going to go ahead and show you why I like this spot so much. Because you can see that I have a massive flat zone with a bunch of trees. I have an area that I can build and do whatever I need to do in order to make a very, very nice base. Now, this island as a whole has a ton of flat zones. I like to build in this one, but I know it's also very useful to build down here. It's another awesome one. And then you can also build in the next spot down over here. And you'll get some pretty neat things that uh, can you can tame over here as well. Um, you get some dinosaurs and things along those lines. I have my second mini like farming base over here. And you can see that these just massive flat zones make building. It's just so nice to be able to build in the massive flat areas because of the fact that if you have, if you're built near like a little cliff like this one, your creatures are going to kind of jump off the edge, unfortunately, because they're not super bright. This entire island is covered in just big areas that are just awesome to build in inevitably my goal is to build up on this spot up here it's just a little bit hard to get up here um so like you gotta actually transport all your stuff but the uh conveniently the walls on both sides of this actually cover don't get covered by your pal uh, sphere so that's pretty useful and uh, as a whole this entire island anywhere you see these like large brown spots on the map that is kind of the areas that are awesome to build in this zone now the reason I say kind of leave this island for last is because this next island right here. Now, there are a few over here, but again, not as not as popular as this one. It's not as pretty as some of the other islands. I won't disagree with that statement, but the island that we are actually heading towards over there is is probably one of the most premier spots on the guy uh, in the entire game. Um, and that's just due to the fact that there's a massive can see that like the this is a big spot where you've got a lot of flat space to work with this next island over you can fit 10 15 20 bases of just monster tribes and uh yeah this thing is is uh it, it's gonna be cool or at least guilds i guess is what this game calls them and here we go so this island is probably the best early game building area in the entire game just due to the fact that you've got a ton of space to build everywhere on it all right so this entire island again the benefit there's your teleportation you've got a massive flat area here you've got a farmable camp down there you've got ore access right there you've got early game tames you have water if you really like that um to like kind of integrate that into your base usually in this all of these ledges will have eggs spawn in them you can see there's one right over there it's kind of hard to see from this range i'm sorry about that but there it is um, you've got a tree over here so they can spawn nearby for your moves. You've got the next side over here where you can build a second base and kind of have a both rendered in. You've got an entire next layer down and I'm kind of dropping down to it right now. But uh, this next layer down also has multiple locations. You can see there's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. And then you could build on the beaches like there's 10 or 15 locations on this island alone you can build gargantuan sized bases with really really convenient resources nearby the only negative of this area is that it kind of has a little bit of an issue with pals there's not very many pals on this island so you have to take a little bit of an adventure to get to the pals but outside of that this island as a whole is just super super useful and it's probably i mean arguably the best location uh, island wise for uh, bases in the entire game. And again, this is early bases. Late bases, you're going to end up wanting to build in the corners where you've got the special stuff. But I mean, right now, this, like if you're playing and you're kind of stuck on space and you haven't checked out these islands, 
these things are super cool. Just having this alone where you can kind of get this massive swath of land uh, that's completely flat. So you don't have to deal. I know. I don't know if anyone else. When I first started the game, I built on an area like that first island I was talking about. Your pals drop down. Things happen. It's hard to build because of the land moving moving up and down. So parts of your stuff is exposed. Parts of it's not exposed. And then just being able to kind of take off massive areas of land like I have over here. It's a huge advantage. And you can have multiple pals, uh, pal spheres or whatever you can call them near each other. Your bases near each other. So if you can place one with kind of access to ore in large quantities like this island has, you can see there's one, two, three, four nodes down there. One, two up there. It can be very, very uh, profitable as well as just automated. The more you can automate your base in this game, the better off you are. So being able to automate with all of these cool resources nearby, this is by far the best island you can build on in the game. Now, there are some good spots in this area, but they're harder to get to early game. And they're just not they're not quite as big as some of the swaths of land you can have on these two islands. This one's got some OK stuff, but there's no teleportation zone here which really sucks. So these two have the teleportation zones built in, plus some late game stuff to actually get you started. So yeah, these are the best five. I kind of, I said five, it's way more than five that I gave you. I probably gave you 15, 20 different locations, um, but these are the best zones that you can spawn in, in early game and kind of just like expand outwards. So hopefully this video helps you out. And if you don't mind, smack that like button, leave a comment below for the algorithm, and then consider subbing to the channel. Now, also, if you are playing on solo player, solo player is fine. It can be a little bit difficult because when you're waiting for things to happen, sometimes it's nice to log out, queue up a whole bunch of stuff and play on your own dedicated server where you kind of like just rent a server. If you look below, I, I work with a company, G Portal, that I'm playing on on this one right now. You get 10% off and it's like $4 a month for a dedicated server for you. So that is a super useful thing that you can do. And I enjoy playing on hard a little bit more. It's a little more rewarding and things along those lines. So hope this video helps you out. And if you don't mind, smack that like button. All right, teach.